everybody. So last video we talked about the Frisian language and did some Frisian trigger words. This will also be a Frisian themed video. In this video I'll be talking about the one and only the man himself the legend Grutebier Beer Gerlofs Donia was a Frisian farmer rebel leader and pirate known by his nickname of Grutebier 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 meaning Big Beer Big Beer referring to his legendary size strength and courage 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 he was a big guy He was born around 1480 near the city of Harlingen in the early 16th century Friesland or Frisia was under the authority of George Duke of Saxony however Charles Duke of Egmont was also keen on possessing the Frisian region, resulting in a battle between their supporters. After George, Duke of Saxony, had given the territory to Charles of Egmont, yet another war break broke out, a war between Holland and the Frisians. This war formed the backdrop for the rise of Grutebier. Grutebier, Grutebier, Grutebier. Approximately seven kilometers to the northeast of his village in the city of Vraniger, the Black Band was quartered a regiment in the service of George, Duke of Saxony. The Black Band were notorious as a violent military force. When their pay was insufficient or lacking, they took matter into their own hands. They would ext extract payment from local villagers. In January 1515, and his companions the 
decided to take up arms against the first, the Saxon oppressors, and later against Holland. They formed an armed band called Arumer Zwarte Hope, which means Black Gang from Arum. Pierre became leader and fought as a pirate in battles on the side of Sea, which is the Southern Sea, capturing many English and Dutch ships. Frisians regarded him as a freedom fighter, but to the Dutch he is an outlaw. Pierre targeted ships that traveled the side of Zee, and he was very active in 1517 when he used his signal ships to attack ships in the region of the West Frisian coast, to which he also transported Galdrian forces, setting them ashore at Maidenblik. Grutebier bore a personal enmity to Maidenblik and its inhabitants. As in earlier years, soldiers from Maidenblik had cooperated with the Holland army, commanded by Duke Charles. On 24 June 1517, Grete and his black gang from Arm consisting of some 4,000 soldiers from Frisia and Gelders sailed to West Frisia, passing Enkhuizen, landing near Ravershof and advancing to Maidem's Blick. They swiftly captured Maidem Blick, killing many inhabitants and taking many prisoners. Some were released on payment of a high ransom. Some of the town's inhabitants fled and found safety at Castle Radboud. The castle's governor succeeded in keeping the aggressors outside the castle walls, unable to take the castle. The black gang from Arum plundered the town and set it on fire. With most houses made of wood, the town, including the church, monastery and town hall, was razed. After this partial victory, Grutebier and his army stormed both Nieuwburg and Middelburg Castle near Alkmaar plundered and set them on fire, leaving nothing but ruins. They captured the town of Asperen, slaughtering virtually all of the inhabitants. Then they used the heavily fortified city as a base until driven out by the Stadthouder of Hollands. Which is kind of like, the Stadthouder is kind of like the president or something. In response to the attacks on Maiden Black and Alkmaar, the Stadthouder of Holland agreed to outfit a war fleet. In the name of Charles V, The commander of the fleet announced he would free the region of Frisian and Gelder piracy. Although he was initially successful, 
with some of the Frisian vessels being burned. Grattebeer resp responded by seizing 11 of Holland's ships in a battle of the coast near Horn in 1518. Shortly after this victory, Beer defeated 300 Dutchies in Hindelopen. According to a legend, Grattebeer forced his captives to repeat a very well-known phrase to distinguish the Frisians from the Lower German and Holland infiltrators. The phrase goes like this. Butter, bread and green cheese. What I need to say is geen oprechte vries. And yes, I did have to practice that in advance. Water, bread and green cheese. What I need to say is geen, is geen oprechte vries. Which means butter, bread and green cheese. If you can't say that, you're not a real Frisian. Butter, bread and green cheese. What I need to say is geen oprechte vries. I think that's pretty good. Only a true Frisian can pronounce this. So Grattebeeren in instantly knew whether someone was an enemy who deserved a beheading. It is said that he could decapitate several of his foes with a single blow from a sword. The phrase is still very popular today among Frisians. said to be so strong that he could bend coins using just his thumb, index and middle fingers. That's pretty strong. Despite his successes, Grattebeer could not turn And he retired, disillusioned, in 1519. He died peacefully in his bed in the city of Sneek in October 1520. His body was buried in Sneek in the great church, also called the Martini Kerk. Martini Church. So yeah, that was the story of Grattebeer. A hero to the Frisians. And kinda a bad guy to everyone else. Very intimidating. Big, strong guy. Whose life is shrouded in mystery and legend. So that was it for today's video. See you next time.